Mm. All right, 838 is your time. 106 years ago, the Titanic set sail from Southampton to New York, and what happened next has inspired books, songs, and one of the most successful movies of all time. Yeah, the story of the Titanic also led to a Tony-winning Broadway musical, and now that musical is coming to life in a way it never has before, thanks to one of the most innovative theater companies in the world. And good day, Atlanta. Paul Milliken is live at the End Lake at Serenby this morning. Paul, the team there has brought the Titanic back to the water where it belongs. And before this live shot is over, I expect you to yell, I'm the king of the world from the top, okay? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, and I've been resisting the urge all oh, morning. I know the you want to do it. Okay, this is not the movie. This is the musical. They're very <laughs> different things, but I do sort of want to hang off of this like that. But I'm, I'm not going to do it. Yes, all right. Brian said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> Hanging out with Brian Cloudis, the visionary behind Titanic, the musical. Brian, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing this uh, morning? Well, I'm a little nervous now. I have to tell you, this this is high up here, and your actors are running all over this thing, right? It is really high. And this is actually my first time on this unit. <laughs> um, um, and rumor has it we might be submerging. You I and hear I, that so we might be I'm sinking a, at some point yeah, during this live report. So stay I'm tuned for that. Right. I have to say, congratulations on Titanic the musical. Why did you decide that you wanted to do this? This is a giant production. Yeah, Titanic's been on my list for quite some time. Yeah. And the stars aligned, and it was just the perfect time in our path to do it. And we secured the rights, and we built our entire season around Titanic. And yeah. I knew I wanted to do this version of Titanic. Yeah. And it, it took us nine years to get here, but here we are. Yeah, well, you see during the day, it's very stylized with the scaffolding. It looks completely different at night, and we do have some videos, so I want you to see that at home. So talk about the wizardry, the technical stuff you had to do to make this come to life. Yeah, this is beyond anything we've ever done before. And as yeah. you can see, we're standing on this skeleton of Titanic. Right. So the entire concept is rooted in this 3D blueprint we've created. Yeah. But we've been dealing with contractors and stunt people. I mean, people People we've never had to yeah, work yeah. with at this level, but when you do something this large, you've got to have the right people in the room. And when you have actors fleeing themselves off a four-story yeah, structure, yeah. you have to have, we have lifeguards here every night. So, I mean, we have really taken our scale of production mm -hmm. to the next level, but it's ultimately about telling this really incredible story. Yeah, and what's interesting about that story, for folks who have never seen the musical version of Titanic, these are real people. This is telling the actual story of the people who were on the Titanic. Yes, so 40 actors play 40 actual humans who were on the ship, as wow. opposed to the movie, which of course we all love. There is no Jack and Rose on this ship. Yeah. We have 40 people, and you're getting snapshots into all of these people's lives. So it's really incredible to be living part of actual history. Yeah, okay, so you see that we're standing on this unit that's kind of moving around. Can we make it start to sink here? I don't know if I really want that to happen, but we're going to see how it all works. You can see it's being, oh Joel. boy. There's Joel, our incredible. Joel is unhooking us right now. And actually, that chandelier over there, too, that was specially built to go into the water, right? Yeah, so that is a custom-made, submergible, waterproof huh. chandelier. Wow. Why not, right? Okay, what do your actors think about this? Because because here's the thing. It's one thing to learn a part and to be able to sing the part. It's another to sing it when you're sinking in water. What were rehearsals? Well, oh, here we go. <laughs> what were rehearsals like? Um, the cast is absolutely incredible. You know, we had to be pretty upfront from the beginning that if you have water fears or issues, this is probably not yeah, the show yeah. for you. But the cast has been absolutely incredible, and they've just been game for anything. Right, right. And critics have loved this show. They have raved about it. Some have said it is the best piece of theater they've ever seen. What is it like getting that kind of feedback on something obviously you worked so long on? I mean, it's truly incredible. You know, yeah. we don't do it for the praise, but I always say it doesn't hurt, you know? <laughs> right. Ooh, Feels pretty good. Go. Oh, boy. Okay, We're wait a minute. We're about to oh, go yeah. in the water. My Feet are, oh, there, okay, there we go. Actually, it's kind of warm. That's okay. not so bad. I was expecting it to be colder. Oh, it's kind of nice. Too. So your actors, again, I just want you guys to think about this at home. They're acting the story. They're singing while they're singing. That has got to influence the performances they give. It's one thing to do this on a stage and to imagine it. It's another to really be in the water. Well, I always say as an actor, you're trying to recreate true life and imagine all these things. But with this show, you're actually yeah. in the water. You're actually 
on this ship. So you don't have to imagine all of this stuff. Right. You're actually in it. And for the audience, they're seeing people in life vests splashing around and grasping yeah, for yeah. their lives. So I think that with good theater, you're recreating real life. And this is real life right here. Yeah, yeah. Every single time you top yourself and you've done it again, Brian Cloudis. So congratulations to you. Thank you, Paul and Fox. Yeah, well, we are so happy to be here. And good news, you all have plenty yeah. of time to see Titanic the Musical. It has been extended oh, through nice. August 19th, oh, wow. and yeah. rumor has it we are expanding seating. Nice, oh, all right, more cool. seats too. So get your tickets now. Yeah, you got to see this. Yeah, and I have to say, this is not this the first time, really and it will guys. not it's be the last like bat, time right? that a Paul Milliken yeah. live shot felt like a sinking I'm ship. <laughs> right, Paul? Oh, no. I was just going to say, I've, I've, I've sunk in many times yes, on live have. television. <laughs> this is my favorite, though. I yeah, mean, no doubt about that. Thanks, Paul. Titanic the Musical has been extended through August 19th, as they mentioned, with shows Wednesday through Sunday at 8 p.m. The End Lake at Serenby is located at 10950 Hutchison Ferry Road. That's in Chattahoochee Hills. Get your tickets. It's going to be a spectacular mm -hmm. show.